Hello guys, it's Pap from Pap back at it again and today is the day. So a lot of you guys asked for the um, for the farming guide, so how to play the decks to in a way in the way that I do, because uh, as actually now I have always nine 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 gems. How can you do it? How can you do like me and play the game in the most efficient way? Because this is the reason. The reason why I almost always have a lot of gems is because I play the game in the most efficient way that I can. So, um, if you wanna know all the secrets and the tips um, that we have, that I use actually to have all this gem and to farm this quickly, um, I definitely suggest you to see all the video, because we'll actually start from the basic tips to the pro tips. Uh, I actually have a, um, a sheet where I'm actually seeing all the tips. I wrote down all the tips, all the best things that you can do in the game to maximize the amount of gems that you can farm. So, before jumping right into it, guys, just a quick reminder, if you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it and it really helps me a lot. Let's jump right into the farm. So, guys, as you can see, I have 999 gems plus actually a lot of gems. So, maybe if my connection let me do it, I can show you my gift box with all the gems that I have. As you can see, um, this is actually the King of Games celebration because if you do not know, every time you reach King of Games, you get two, uh, 200 gems as a gift. That's insane. So these are all gems, as you can see, um, and so I, uh, of course, have more uh, than 10k, uh, not that much, actually, maybe an, I'm not even close to 11k, but it's already a good amount of gems. So let's start really quickly. So the best tips, the first tips, the first basic tips is, tip is dual um, as well, uh, as soon as you can, all the standard duelists. So, of course, when you're going, to, uh, when you're going to duel a standard duelist, this is the thing that maybe you already know. Put this thing on three. Uh, now I have only two because there are only two standard duelists left. But of course, put it to three so you maximize, um, you so so that you can duel the stand three standard duelists per time. And you have to do this thing. Uh, Every four, five hours, actually, every five hours, your standard duels are full, are fully recharged. So they will be ten, and you need, you need to uh, duel all of them because you will, t you will have not only the experience, and so you, so that you're farming for your, uh, for the character you're farming, but you have a lot of um, good uh, items like gold and like. Case the case that you can use to the um, to the gate, the dual gate. Then we have another important thing: scroll all over the world to look for all the standard duelists and um, uh, the legendary duelists that spawn. There you go. There's here another one. So this is a legendary duelist, uh, and you uh, and you have to check through the all the words to look for them. So, the legendary duelists are way better than the standard duelists, not for the XP, they will be always the same, but for the rewards. In fact, um, you can duel them and you can get in the, um, in the chest, you can get also gems. So, they are the way, the perfect, the, one of the uh, easiest way to get free gems. Um, this, uh, this legendary duelist, instead of recharging as the standard duelist, every uh, half an hour you get one standard duelist, these are actually casual. So every time you can, especially if you have a phone um, where you can play the game, I um, definitely suggest you to check for this legendary duelist to get the most amount of gems that you can. So actually right here, let's see if I got something, nothing, but... It's fine, of course, not always you will get gems, but most of the time, you actually are getting some, something. Then we have stage mission. I've completed all the stage mission of all the world, but this is actually a basic tip. You need to accomplish to fulfill all the stage missions to get to the max stage, because, uh, of course, 
uh, through the missions you will get a lot you will get you will get tons of gems only by completing all the stage missions and here is a quick tip when you have completed all the missions of a stage before jumping to the next stage make sure to duel all the standard duelists because when you're actually moving to the next stage all the standard duelists get instantly recharged so this means if i have to now and imagine that i can jump to a stage 31 what will happen is that my standard duelist will go up to 10 all the way so keep in mind that especially if you're farming uh, players uh, sorry characters um of course, the other way to get gems is to farm your character uh, the most that you can. As you can see right here, guys, I have all my characters fully um, farmed except for Axel. The other one are all at level max. As you can see, they're all yellow. The number is in yellow. And except for Axel. Why Axel? No, because... I already have 999 gems. I do not want to feel forced to spend my gems um, uh, if there are no cards that I got interest in. So then uh, let's go to other basic tips. Another basic tip is uh, one that you maybe already know. Oh, let's actually use this. Is the um, dual replay. Every time you get every day, so every 24 hour you can check this thing, see the replay, and when you see the replay after, you actually do not have to see it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. You just make a start, and then after you have, uh, as soon as you have the chance, you can close the replay, and you will get five gems. So do this every 24 hours to get those five free gems there you go you can do this way and you will have your gems i will not get uh, those actually right now because i already did it so you can do it only once per day then another quick tip basic tip the interest points the interest points are some points in the game when you where you can click and actually get gems and are right here then we have another one and the fountain, the mythic fountain, if maybe some of you know Guns Blazing, and then the delights, the and last but not least, on the top of the shop. So, every interest point can give you from a minimum of one gem to a max of five gems. This means that every day, because every 24 hours you can do it for every pint, you can get from a minimum to 4 of a max to of 20 gems. And that's insane. You can do this every day. Uh, and this is, this is another uh, basic tip. Then another tip that I actually uh, did uh, this morning is to reach King of Games. Reaching King of Games will let you have access to 12, uh, 200 gems. Plus all the gems uh, that you get through the rank up. Because as you can see right here, we have Legend Rank 5 Rank Up Celebration Gift, that is a total of 10 gems, as well the of uh, Legend rank, uh, rank 4, and so on. So you get, um, actually from this thing, if you start from Platinum, you can get up to uh, 300 gems per month, and that's insane. So, other gems that you have uh, mm, access to every month. Then, what we have... Um, what well, we have more we have um, these are actually the basic tips so things that you already should know uh, about uh, because they're basic thing then let's move to um, to the uh, to the actually pro tips um, actually we have another basic tip the, another basic tip is this one you can go to the dual trials and make all the dual quits right here you have to complete all of these to get gems uh, so in the um, level 3 level 2 level 1 with the loner deck duels also and here is a, a, a pro tip so let's start with the pro tips the first pro tip is this one the daily loner challenge right now you see that the reward is actually the black key but check this every day because this thing actually change and when it change you can see as a reward also from one to five gems so check this every day to get some free gems some more free gems this is the first pro tip 
The other pro tip is that if you really reach the King of Games rank, what you can do is that if you keep on winning um, some duels, you can get more gems. As you can see right here, you actually get 30 gems every 40, 40 wins. Why? Because now that I reach, that I reach 120 wins, um, uh, in the next 20 wins I will get only gold and then I need another 20 wins to get another 30 gems. So this means that every 40 wins on the ladder will, get you, will let you have access to 30 gems extra. That's insane, so you can get um, uh, whatever you want, you can get how many gems you want, uh, but um, the only thing you need is to keep on winning. I don't know, it's actually not that easy, but it's always a source of free gems and is unlimited. Then, moving on to the other pro tips. So, um, let's see. Um, uh, let's see what we got here. We got the pro tip of the uh, legendary duelist. I already told you that you need to actually duel the legendary duelist as soon as they spawn. But what I uh, what I didn't tell you is that another thing that you can do when you're duel a, a legendary duelist. Oh, sorry, I misclicked right here. Uh, is that uh, the best way, the most efficient way to do it will be to farm them. So um, even if they are a level 10, you should farm them to get the most amount of chests, because the more chests you get to open, the most chances you have to get gems. And of course, the best, the best thing will be to farm them every time they spawn. Um, Let's keep it clear, I don't do it because I do not have the time to farm the, the legendary duelist every time they spawn. I usually um, uh, use the auto duel of course, but the thing that I do when I remember is to actually use the items. And I use the results burst so that I get an extra chest and so more chance to get, um, to get gems. Then we have skipping to the uh, the, the uh, moving on to the other pro tips. The first pro tip that you need to know and is actually a truth is that you cannot have all the cards that are in the game. If you're a free to play player uh, or like me, you're almost free to play. This means that you actually spend uh, from 10 bucks to 30, maybe 40 uh, bucks per year. So this means every time they release a structured deck and you want to buy three copies, uh, but actually only the structured deck that you like, uh, you cannot have access to all the cards. So you have to choose wisely which box to spend on. And as you can see, there are boxes that I didn't touch at all. A lot of you guys asked for some decks that I do not hold the cards because I didn't spend gems on that. For example, let's see it. Let's see Rage of Volcano. This, um, as you can see, is actually untouched. I didn't spend gems in this because um, I didn't like the cards right here. Uh, this does not mean they are not strong. Uh, there was something, so, some good card like Battling Boxer Veil, vale, but I didn't touch this box because I had to actually save my gems. So. Choose wisely which box to spend your gems on. And also, guys, another important pro tip is that choose when you uh, actually um, uh, see a box that you want to spend your gems on. Of course, you cannot get three copies of all the ultra rares. If you wanna, uh, um, if you wanna, of course, think like a pro player to build an optimized deck, you will need three copies of ultra rares and also of some super rares. And you have to focus on only some of the cards that are in a box. You cannot take three copies of everything because you cannot spend actually. Um, more than 20k gems for only one box to get three copies of everything. It's not possible, of course, if you're a free-to-play player and you only spend gems. So as you can see right here, uh, in this box, the cards that I wanted the most was Stratus. I actually wanted three Stratus and I wanted three Adoration and I wanted three Golden Golem form. So, while they are uh, actually super rare, it's, more, it's easier to get the three copies. For the ultra rare instead, it's more difficult. So, um, 
I also actually would have liked to have uh, three copies of the spider shark or three copies of the tingle fish, but I had to set my priorities. My priority was Stratus, so as well as I found Stratus, I uh, had to reset the box even if I uh, didn't take my second copy of Team Goldfish and that's why I ended up with three Stratos but only one Team Goldfish. And as you can see right here I didn't reset the box because if I will have some gems that will, uh, will actually um, be lost um, in, uh, in time and I have to spend them before they actually expire I have this box with only 10 packs uh, where I can find my second team goldfish that I actually didn't use at all, so maybe it's not worth it. But, so, it's very important guys to set your priorities and to understand that you cannot have 3 copies of all the, the cards. Other thing is, if you are more a, a collectionist than a, 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 a duelist, if you want to collect all the cards and you you're okay, you're fine with just one copy, okay, just open the whole box. But if you want to play competitively and you want to get cog every month and you want to have the best decks and you want to build the best decks, keep in mind that you will need three copies of the best cards. So this is actually a, a way of thinking that you need um, to make in order to uh, build the best decks and keep Keep on with the game. Keep up with the game. Keep in mind that, guys. Uh, so this means, as you, uh, as I already shown you, that I skipped a lot of boxes. I actually, as a, as well, I skipped this one. I completely skipped this one. I didn't touch this. So you have to skip boxes to have uh, nine, nine, nine gems. That's the thing. Then, other important pro tips: events. The events need to be farmed the most as you can as you can see i'm already a 14 um 14 uh, thousand lottery coins you need to farm the events because they actually free gems if, especially the events with the card lottery because when you're actually about to spend all these kinds um you can get gems from the draw right here so you have to play a lot you have to play every five hours to get to get all the standard duelists done so that you have the most amount of letters in this case to play the event the most as you can so that you have access to the most gems that you can get that's another secret the secret is farming and playing a lot for example guys in the last uh, dark signers event i reached up to 80,000 kinds and i ended up getting um almost 200, 200 gems from the lottery from the card lottery and that's insane that's good another event that is needed to farm at its best is the Aigami event that actually we had uh, the last week or maybe two weeks ago the Aigami event was so good because you have access to the famous assist duels the assist duels are duels that you can do every time you do not need to spend anything you do not need anything to duel you can just click auto duel boom do the assist duels uh, will let you have access to some chest and if you were lucky enough you will have access to gold chest and gold chest could let you have gems uh, I can't even remember how many duels I did I, and I made some gems thanks to that to, thanks to that event and of course if you're a new player so not like me and you have a lot of characters to farm you have even more reasons to play those um, events and to farm those events the most that you can so that you farm your characters even faster keep in mind that my boys what we have next the next thing is that we have another source of unlimited gems maybe it's not unlimited it's the duel gate because you know guys every time you duel a, a, a legendary duelist you get chest where you can get gems and look at how many keys I have but when I have time and there's nothing to do in the game I actually do this I duel the standard duelist to get my gems and keep in mind guys that legendary duelist drop chest with uh, with gems up to 15 
so you can get one chest with 15 gems that's insane that's an am then a and that's an insane amount of gems so this is actually another way to farm gems free another pro tip my boy is that uh, try to get all the skills for each character all the skill for each character I actually didn't accomplish this but why do you have to uh, get all the, the skill of course you can help yourself with the um, with the um, uh, with the uh, trader because with the skill lottery you can get some skills thanks to the skill chips that we got and because why because you can use in that way you can use the tickets for the skill if you're gonna use the ticket for the skill and you already have all the skills of all the characters what will happen is that they give you 50 gems because you cannot use the skill the, the skill ticket that's insane another pro tip but this time is not to farm the gems it's just a, a pro tip that I um, actually use is that wh whenever we get dream ticket uh, whenever they are, whether they are you are or SR, it doesn't matter. Keep those until the expiring date, because you can uh, you can never know what it's about to happen, what it's about to um, happen in the game in terms of new cards, in terms of new events, and maybe some some old cards can become popular, can become top tier. Uh, so, of course, save your ticket as long as you can. Keep in mind that, and what we have um, uh, also, another important tip is that, in my opinion guys, you should spend your gems only, and I repeat, only when you have at least 10k, at least 10k, you all, of course need to see right here 999, um, otherwise you should not spend your gems, because they would be waste, because um, you need some time to farm the, the gems, so if you spend every time you get a thousand gems, then uh, it, will, uh, uh, it will take some time before you have another gem, other gems to spend. And so it can pass a week, or two weeks, or maybe even a month, and in that time, so in that week, in that two weeks, or in that month, what happens is that it can happen something in the game that will let you change idea on the deck you're actually trying to build. And this means that uh, if you change idea, the gems that you spent before on some other cards are actually wasted. So you need to uh, accumulate um, up to 10k, 15k gems, then choose a deck and go all over to uh, get all the cards. So my advice is to always wait for at least 10k or 15k gems before spending them. The only exception is that you have an almost complete deck, you only need one card, maybe two, and you need you only miss those cards to complete the deck, then in that case it's okay if you have, of course, not 10k gems, even if you have 1000, 2000 gems and you want to spend them to look for that card or those two cards. But otherwise, save your gems, it's the best way not to waste them. Um, and guys, I actually think I taught you everything. The, 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 the most important tip that I actually use is the one that I told you with the, uh, the legendary duelist. We'll actually, um, uh, we are about to check together, um, if we have some standard duelist ready right here. There you go, in fact. So, as you can, as I told you guys, results booster and how to duel because I actually do not have the time to farm all of those of course if you have do it it will means having access to more gems and guys this is how I managed to have almost always 999 gems because I save them I save a lot of gems and I spend them um, only when there are some broken cards released or if there are some cards that I like especially heroes or dark magician related for example uh, those are actually uh, some of my favorite archetypes. Uh, don't mind, Eero is my is my favorite archetype of all. So, uh, whenever I add heroes, I just uh, I, ca I can't I can't wait. I just have to spend my gems on the box. So th that's all. And so, guys, I hope this guide was uh, useful to you. I hope uh, that 
it's, it's, it's not that long. I'm actually at 25 minutes of video, so uh, it should be not that long. Uh, these are all the tips and the tricks that I use to have the most amount of gems to keep on farming, guys. Um, uh, another, uh, the last thing that I want to say to you guys is that you have to keep patient. Uh, once that you have your your deck list that uh, uh, that can ensure you cog for. Uh, uh, mm, for at least six months, because when you get a, a deck that can that lets you reach cog, you're almost fine for you're fine for at least six months, uh, as um, as long as your cards won't get uh, hit by the bounties, so you're chilling and. That's all, um, guys. I hope you enjoyed all the explanation. I hope you enjoyed the guide. I hope you uh, like how I explained um, all the tips and the tricks. I hope you actually found something that you didn't even know about. That's the thing. And if you have some questions or if you think that I that I forgot something, um, of course, leave a comment. Let me know in the comment section down below. How happy maybe um, if we can, uh, you know. Um, if we can save and put together a lot of other tricks and, and tips that maybe I missed, we can uh, put those together in the comment section down below and maybe I can make another video about all these secret tips that maybe I've missed. Um, guys, and as always, thanks a lot for watching and for, for all your incredible and amazing support. Um, really thank you guys. And as always, see you in the next one.